growing concern in Tel Aviv. The images coming out of deep inside Iran don't show missiles or rocket launchers. They show something else, quieter and far more deceptive. Test flights and mysterious formations moving without announcement. And Israeli intelligence is whispering about an Iranian ghost operating away from the lights. It doesn't show up easily on radar and it makes almost no sound in the sky. Yet the Israeli know it well, because its roots don't come from China or Russia. They come from American wreckage that once fell onto Iranian soil, and today it returns to the skies, but under a different doctrine, with different goals, and with an identity Israel recognizes immediately. So what's the story of the stealth aircraft that worries Israel more than Iran's hypersonic missiles? And is the moment approaching when it will be used in a real battle for the first time. Many secrets and details are revealed here, dear viewer, about the Iranian Shahid 171 squadron. Stay with us until the end and don't forget to support us with liking the video. Shahid 171 Under the Microscope the story begins in December 2011, when an American RQ-170 Sentinel reconnaissance drone went down inside Iranian territory. The drone was one of the Pentagon's most secret stealth platforms, but what happened was not a simple, isolated incident. For Iran, it was like a technological treasure falling from the sky. The aircraft was transported almost intact to secret research facilities, where Iranian engineers engineers began to disassemble it, inspect every component, and measure every curve and angle. Step by step, they started building their own version. From that process, the Shahid 171 project was born. The Iranian flying wing that later became a symbol of local capability in reverse engineering. Shahid 171, also known as Simorg, is designed on the flying wing concept. Just like American platforms, such as the B-2 or the RQ-170, the philosophy gives the aircraft an extremely low radar cross-section. The outer structure is made of lightweight composite materials that absorb electromagnetic waves and reduce radar reflections, its top air inlets are S-shaped to mask engine noise, and the exhaust is embedded within the tail to cool thermal emissions and reduce the infrared signature. In size, a full-scale Shahid 171 has has a wingspan of roughly 20 meters, a length of about 4.5 meters, and a height near 2 meters. But smaller variants have appeared in Iranian maneuvers, with wingspans of roughly 11 to 12 meters, typically test models or lower capability versions. Maximum takeoff weight is estimated around 3,070 kilograms, placing it in the medium size UAV category. In terms of performance, the Shahid 171 can operate up to 40,000 feet and reach speeds of about 450 km per hour. It's powered by a small turbofan Tulio 14 that balances range and fuel consumption. The platform can remain airborne for up to 10 continuous hours, providing extensive surveillance and reconnaissance coverage. Underneath the airframe, the aircraft carries a dual navigation suite combining inertia navigation with satellite navigation GPS and GLONASS, allowing it to operate even under heavy jamming conditions. In the nose sits a low-drag transparent fairing that houses a package of electro-optical cameras and thermal sensors, capable of capturing stills and video and streaming them in real time to command centers. This package makes it an ideal long-range ISR platform for collecting information deep inside enemy territory without risking a manned aircraft. The Shahid 171's design is modular, enabling quick field maintenance and component swaps without advanced workshop infrastructure. It can operate from dirt strips or temporary bases without complex support facilities. Shahid 171 Fangs and Tel Aviv's Worry 
At first glance, it may look like just a reconnaissance drone, but Shahid-171 is not toothless. Behind the silent stealth design, Iran hides a precision strike capability. As Tehran's smart munitions program expanded, Shahid-171 evolved into an offensive platform capable of executing quick strikes on hardened targets with near total silence. The combat variant is fitted with external hardpoints capable of carrying carrying small guided bombs known as SADED 342, thermo or optically guided munitions with a range of roughly 8 kilometers, used against hardened targets such as radars, command posts, comms hubs, or even air defense systems. These bombs may not be high yield, but they are highly dangerous when used against sensitive fixed targets, especially if the aircraft can release them from medium altitude without being detected. Detected. One worrying scenario for Israel is a wave of Shahid 171s, each carrying several small guided bombs directed at command and control nodes or fixed radar sites inside Israel. In that scenario, even if some are shut down, a single successful strike could create a critical breach in the defensive structure, opening the way for wars. More advanced glide bombs also appeared in recent Iranian exercises, believed to be a or black band types, featuring INS, GPS navigation, and fold-out wings. These weapons push strike ranges beyond 30 kilometers, enabling the aircraft to release them from well outside dangerous zones, increasing survivability and maneuvering room. Recent Israeli estimates show growing alarm about the possibility of deploying Shahid-171 in an upcoming strike, not only because of its stealth, but because it's being given real offensive authorities. According to intelligence reports, the Israeli Air Force has placed the drone on its list of unconventional threats that could be used in a surprise operation, especially if employed in numbers or from bases beyond typical detection range. In military math, numbers can beat quality. If 10 or 15 Shahid 171s are launched simultaneously, each on a separate route and target intercepting them all is nearly impossible, and if even one gets through, the cost might be an early warning station, a command center, or an entire radar system. It's not a heavy bomber, it's a stealthy weapon that aims to make a hole, not a lot of noise. The Dark Side of Shahid 171 When Shadow Isn't Enough Behind every stealth platform lies an inconvenient truth. Stealth is not perfection. Despite Shahid-171 quiet design and endurance, it has critical weaknesses, especially in a crowded combat environment like the Israeli front. First, it's not fully stealth. The composites used in its construction do not match Western composite materials, which means its radar cross-section remains detectable from some angles, particularly by ASA radar radars or low-frequency ground radars. Even with air inlet and exhaust shaping to minimize emissions, its turbofan engine remains a clear heat source detectable in the infrared, especially to Israeli fighters equipped with advanced IR tracking pods. Then there is the bigger problem. Limited payload. It cannot carry heavy or multiple munitions, which forces it to rely on precise limited strikes. That advantage becomes a liability if it faces heavy jamming, navigation failure, or last second interception. A single missed strike can turn the aircraft from a game changer into merely a blip on the radar. On communications and command, there is so far no strong evidence that Chahed-171 uses encrypted satellite links comparable to Western systems. Under heavy jamming or link severance, the drone could become an aerial blind, continuing its flight but without a clear mission. This weakness makes it heavily dependent on external help, kamikaze drones, electronic warfare support, or stable navigation satellites. Finally, in terms of deployment and consistency, the simplicity that eases operation also creates very
variability across production lots. Some units have appeared with different engines, shorter wings or higher IR signature, meaning a full-scale operational reliance could be risky. It's a smart aircraft but not invincible. Its strength lies in stealth, not in head-to-head -head confrontation. And on a battlefield like the Middle East, where radars never sleep, the question remains. Can Shahid-171 hide well enough before it's spotted? Let us know in the comments.